Uh, All right, we're going live. We're going live. Oh, I got my tea. Hey, guys, <laughs> Hi, how everyone. are you doing? Oh, wait, hold on. Setting it up. Okay. You know, they, they always make us sit through this. I know. And we're, we're just, okay, we're done. Oh, we I are. got my tea. Oh, hey, guys, how, how are you doing? Oh, wait, hold on. Setting it up. Okay, we're good. Awesome. We are very professional. We are live on YouTube. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Okay, sorry, I'm drinking my tea. What? No, well, the, the problem is we but we can't both drink at the same time. Otherwise, no one's talking. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone says I don't let you talk enough anyway. Anyway, hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to our show, the Tangent Show number 24. 24. That is crazy. Wow. We've actually managed to keep this going I for know. 24 <laughs> weeks, um, give or take. Well, no, we did 24 weeks, yeah, but the, there was a few gaps. Not but... consecutive weeks. Hey, how is everyone doing? I hope you are enjoying our new Tuesday tangent shows. I'm, I'm kind of digging the Tuesday day. Are, are you feeling Tuesdays? Yes, actually, I really, yeah, it's 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 great. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> see, this is what happens when I let him talk, guys. This is what happens. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> love you. Um, uh, so what's going on today in the background? Oh, it's cherry blossom. Cherry blossoms. Cool. I thought it was pretty. Aww. Okay. So, oh, hi, Amber. I hope you are doing well. Nice to see you. There's Amber. She's cool. I like Amber. Um, okay. So, oh, we had an exciting week. Mm -hmm. Our exciting week is that in our KDP group on Facebook, yes. we hit 11,000 members. 11, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, it's funny, right? Because I come from an island where there's like 55,000 people, I think, or 60,000 people. So whenever I look at like, okay, so we've got like, I don't know, there's like 17,000 people on treasure mm -hmm. hunting and 17,000 on YouTube and 11,000. It's like, we, we're getting towards the population. of <laughs> but, <Little Island. laughs> It's like the fake math. That's like marketer math, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's like, there's like marketer math where you just take all your groups and channels and Twitter and everything and then count them all separately. Because yeah. of course, it's not the same people in every group <laughs> and on YouTube. Um, but yeah. yeah, so with Marked and Math, we're clearly at about a million followers. Uh, absolutely, clearly. absolutely, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys are all doing well. We have exciting news, apart from the 11, oh, and I should say, if um, you have are in our KDP group, because we hit 11,000 members, that means we are doing a giant giveaway. So the giant giveaway is for our everything bundle, which includes curate, cultivate, t-shirt revolutionaries, um, create, uh, magic formulas, tangent research, tangent templates. I'm out. There's, um, I think there's a, oh, there's coloring books. Mm -hmm. There's selling in sexual wellness. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's like a Q3, Q, I, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of courses. It's like probably about 60 or 70 hours of Actually, it's oh, way, way more, way than, more that. than that, yeah. like 100 hours. Quite possibly, yeah. Probably more um, of us. So, yeah, you if you win that, you win the everything bundle and you win a $50 Amazon gift card. So, um, yeah, that's in our KDP group. So please do enter if you're in the group. I think it's really easy. All you have to do is say what your favorite thing is about KDP. So you can just say, yay, I like publishing books. Job that's done. It. Yes. I sold a book. I made $3 <laughs> and bought beer. Job done. <laughs> okay. So, um, oh, we have other exciting news. Yes. yes. Are, are you ready for an yep. announcement, Isaac? Yep. Okay. We have tangent template tangent news. Template we updates. know you guys have been waiting for this. Yes. What have you done, Isaac? I have finally added in finally planners. I know you were waiting. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, yes. it, it was challenging. Yes. Um, but it's done. Look at it. There it is. There it it's is. Beautiful. So, so now you have daily planners. Weekly planners, monthly, monthly planners, and, and yearly, yearly planners. Yes. So you can go in here. We can say 2020. You can choose any of the trim sizes that KDP has. Anything from little five by eight sort of pocket size mm -hmm. to the big sizes there. Um, I, I always love um, the eight two five by eight two five and the eight five by eight five because I always love the, the square, square books. Yeah. Wait, I have. Um, yeah, I always I always like the the square ones. Oh, I okay. think there's look really nice but yeah. that's just like a thing i have um <laughs> but yeah you can create these in any size you mm -hmm. can change um you can do as many years as you like so if, i don't know if you want to find out in the year 2525 <laughs> you can man is still up. alive yeah <laughs> um you, you can do that you can do five years yeah um you can choose oh my gosh language. you put language yes, support yes. in here so if yes. you want it in italian Check it out. There's all the Italian names. If you want it in German, we have it in German. Mm -hmm. um, so yay. 
You can also change up the fonts. Uh, you can switch between Sunday starts and Monday starts. So in the US, calendars usually start on a Sunday. In Europe, they usually start on a Monday. I don't know about Canada. Know. What about Canadians and Australians? I think Australians start on a Monday. Okay. I'm guessing Canadians follow Americans. Uh, yeah, so, probably. I, anyway, I um, exciting thing. Oh, and also you can switch the grid on and off, yeah. which is pretty cool. So you, yeah. it, it just gives a sort of different look and feel. Um, so now you can go ahead and mix and match these all into your planners. We do have more on the way. Um, we are adding language support for the daily, the daily and, and weekly. weekly. So I am working on that right now. So that so will yes. hopefully be live this week. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. We're, we're aiming to have language support across all the planners this week. Yeah. So you can create them in French, Italian, Spanish, German, or English. Mm -hmm. um, so yay. Thank That's you, it. Isaac. That's it. So um, yes. And uh, we do plan on making a video showing you how to put it all together. Mm -hmm. um, so again, with all our planners, I recommend downloading what you need and then using Tangent Builder to go on and construct your own custom uh, PDF file. And so, and I am working on some updates with Tangent Builder uh, to hopefully improve the workflow. Yeah, we're looking, we're, we're listening to your suggestions. There've been so, oh my gosh, guys, you have been giving us so many suggestions. Yes, yes I just and can't code fast enough. We are working to put, like we're working to prioritize them and put them in, like what we think will give the most help to the most people. Yes. And so that's kind of the priority we're working with. Um, we are listening to everything you say and we're doing our best to add as much as we can to make it useful and helpful for all of you. Absolutely. And all of these, <clears throat> uh, uh, these, these PDFs you download contain the original vector artwork uh, to build them. And so, which means that you can import this into a program like Illustrator and have access to customize the, uh, the fonts or, or design elements that That's are attached to awesome. any of our PDFs. Yes. I've been really digging the um, PNG export. Oh, the, the, yes. The I've been using that. Yes. And what I do is I bring them into Canva. So if you go to more tools, actually, I can show you really quickly. Um, if you go to more tools, you can use the PDF inspector and converter, and you can actually use this tool to upload a PDF, download a transparent PNG. Mm. And that means you can pull it into any tool you like. And I love pulling them into Canva and adding little pictures there and That's adding really cool. backgrounds and just. I, I've been using stuff. this myself for, my, for our own projects uh, just because I find it's easier to use, use this tool than to open up a PDF in Photoshop yeah. and, and go through the, the import process in Photoshop. And so, the yes. inspector's awesome as well because you can go in there and like people say, okay, there's a problem with my PDF. My interior is getting rejected. Something's not right. Run it through the inspector and it will tell you what issues you're having. So that's a really cool tool yeah. as well. Yeah. So yay. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> you are a rock star. Um, okay. So let's jump on and start talking about stuff from the show. Oh, so I had um, a platform of okay, the week I wanted to week. talk about. You know, this is one I've sat on for a while because I'm like, oh, I might hold on to this and, and <laughs> I, I'm not going to tell anyone about this. Um, but, you know, I, I thought I would out it because I feel so I'm, I want to share a platform with you. And I think it is a platform that you can use in two ways. You can use it to create a product that you can sell or you can use it as a marketing lead to sort of help people find you and bring them to you. And it is an Amazon platform. And the platform that I'm talking about, um, let me skip over to it, is Video Central on Amazon. Have you, 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 you've heard of Video yes, Central because yes. um, we've been using it a little bit, um, but people aren't really talking about this a lot. And I think it is a cool platform because what Video Central allows you to do is record a video. So here's one I actually made at the end of last year. <clears throat> and you can record a video, put it on Amazon pretty much as a product. So if you make a tutorial, if you make a review, if you make a movie or like, I don't know, you've written a song, you could even put a song on here. Um, like there's all kinds of things you can put on That's here. That's pretty cool. Um, so I made like a tutorial mm -hmm. um, of a walkthrough of using KDP. Actually, if you've already, you've, you've probably already seen it on YouTube. So it does, it's very similar to those. Um, but you can put these on Amazon and they have different purchase options. So people can watch it with Prime, they can buy it from you, they can rent it. Like it has all these options for how you actually sell your video or distribute your video. That's really cool. And there are so many neat things about this. One is that Amazon is a search engine. Like if people look for something like, oh, I don't know, how do I make a KDP book? Um, then they would find me there. 
on Amazon. Yeah. So it's kind of like a search engine thing, like a marketing tool. Um, you can also literally sell your videos. So if you make classes, there's nothing stopping you from actually selling them on Amazon. Um, the other really cool thing about this is, hey, check this out. Who's on IMDb? <laughs> Who has a legit credit hey, on IMDb as a director and writer and presenter or something? Wow. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I have uh, my own bio on IMDb. Oh my gosh! So this actually wow. gives you the credentials you need to get on IMDb. <laughs> I just honestly, I should have put this in a course. I should have put this in a course and sold it. But there we go. I didn't. So I've just given that away. So good luck, go. marketers um, and everyone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that's a pretty cool platform. I think it's pretty exciting. Um, and I think there are a lot of ways to use it. I've also seen people using Video Central to do things like create reviews. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. I haven't really got into that. But one thing people do is, for example, toys. Mm -hmm. So like they'll buy a toy, they'll make a review of it, and then they'll actually sell their review. Or you can like make videos of your own products. Yeah. So if you're selling on FBA, for example, mm -hmm. you can actually make videos about how to use your products on FBA. And that, so if you search for something on Amazon, they're going to see both your product and then underneath right. that a video. Right. So it That's actually really, gives you, really cool. Yeah. That's really this, cool. this is like pretty interesting from a marketing perspective. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys know, but having a video on your Amazon listing like that or to, to show up well yeah it, it will show result. up yeah that's pretty cool. and so you can actually point people to your your product on yeah. so there are rules about video central you do need to read the rules and the policies about how you can use them to promote things they can't i, I think they say they can't be overly promotional um i haven't read the policy recently so do go and read the policy before just like uploading random <laughs> videos um but there is a lot of potential in this so that's i just really cool. wanted to share this and say like I feel people don't really talk about Video Central a lot. No, you don't um, think about it. I mean, if you're going to upload a video, the two, <clears throat> two major platforms you think of is either YouTube or possibly Vimeo. Yeah. And you don't think Amazon. But I mean, Amazon has the resources and everything in place, so it makes sense. It's actually been around for a long time as well. People don't really, like, talk about it. Like, yeah. Um, they will now. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's out there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 would you say there's, like, less competition as well with uh, Video Central? Um, I mean, at the moment, but no. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're outed. No, now it's just Everywhere been out and I don't know. But yeah, honestly, it's it's pretty low competition. Okay. So it's it's an interesting platform. Um, it is a little bit tricky from an SEO perspective to get people to you. Um, okay. Just it, it doesn't give you a whole lot of space for keywords, things like that. So it is a little bit tricky, but if you use and, it intelligently, there's a lot of potential. And I think there's advantages of... of putting yourself out in multiple platforms uh, for one thing. I know uh, YouTube can be, can be uh, blocked in certain locations, whether oh, it be like a school or an organization for whatever reason, they don't want their people, their users, employees going on YouTube, sucking a bunch of resources <laughs> and time. And you're like, hey kids. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> around it with well, not just kids, but employers. No, I get it. Right, right. So it, it's kind of nice putting yourself out there in different platforms. <laughs> Wait, so now you're like, hey, lazy employees, come and watch <laughs> <laughs> a great influence on the workforce. You know, you know, when I was back in my web dev days, when I was, you know, working for a company and uh, we, we would always, whenever we had something big, all right, no streaming. Everyone stop streaming. Stop streaming. We're going to push this like major thing live. And so everyone had to stop with it. Wait, that's doing. what we do in the house. Yes, we do that in the house. It's just us. But we <laughs> did that at a few places I've worked at. We yeah. literally run around the house going, all right, kids, we're going on YouTube. Yes, because we no want streaming. you guys to have the best quality video. I know, last, last week was a bit wonky. Oh, sorry about the max headroom effect Robots, last week. Yeah. Well, no, you know what happened? We had a heat wave on just our computers were overheating. Really oh, bad. my gosh. Yeah, we have a 2008 MacBook Pro. 18. 2018. Sorry, 2018 MacBook Pro. Uh, it, it's got great specs. Everything on paper is awesome. The one thing that sucks, both this happened to both our laptops. They overheat. And once they overheat, it slows it's, down it's, like a it's turtle. A problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have a KDP thing I wanted. Well, it's kind of a KDP thing. Um, let me find it. Okay, so I have to thank my... Oh, wait, that's not it. Mm -hmm. I, I was going to go back to that. Um, I have to thank my friend Martine, actually. Um, so I have a good friend in Guernsey called Martine, and she is like a genius of education. Um, if you happen to be a teacher or you're interested in global education, um, 
send me a message and I'll hook you up with her group because she is very like she just posts cool stuff and she's just been to an educational conference and she came back and what she did was she drew a sketch note and I saw these sketch notes and I was like whoa I this is an interesting concept so what is a sketch note um they kind of look like this uh they're like uh, this is a good example here. So really, I guess the idea is when you're watching someone talk or you're like mm. sitting and listening to like, especially at conferences, when yeah. you're watching a panel, you can actually draw out the the talk and like what people are talking about. And I know some people are like super visual. See, I'm horrible at drawing things. I just, I, <laughs> I'm very word oriented. So I tend to write notes and yeah. just um, think in very sort of word um, without pictures mm -hmm. but people are really in like people who are visual sketch notes are really really cool for them and this guy's actually written a book um let me see where the book is oh my gosh i got too many things mm -hmm. there we go um oh that's not it there we go mm -hmm. okay so he's actually written a book about it which is kind of pricey actually it's like 25 dollars um but it's a really interesting concept, this whole idea about illustrated note taking. And I started thinking about this with KDP because I feel like putting the sort of doodles into your book, maybe as prompts, like writing prompts, um, you could like encourage people to write doodles or you could give them like frames. You could use the comic. Okay. Oh, yeah. guys, I've got an <laughs> idea. So in tangent templates, for example, we give you um, comic book paper. So let's have a look there. Um, oh. There we mm -hmm. go. Uh, we're still here. Um, Scroll up. Later. There it is. So we have the comic book storyboard. You know what? This would be awesome for making sketch notes in. Okay. So I think that would be a really cool thing to sort of encourage your users to create like visual notes in the comic book. It's like another way of using the comic book or yeah, the um, yeah. storyboard. Yeah, so, the, so, so the keyword here is sketch note. Yeah, is now that be trademark. I knew you were going to ask me that. I knew you were going to ask. I'm almost certain that honestly, now. <laughs> honestly, I'm almost certain that Sketch Notes is trademark okay. because it's the name of his book. Sure. And honestly, like this is one of those things where um, basically he's come up with another word for doodles. Like you can you know, like Zentangle, right? Yeah. Like Zentangle is such a cool thing in coloring books. Like it's just drawing little doodles and then people color them. But they like trademark the hell out of Zentangle. <laughs> so they have like a professional like Zentangle instructors, yeah, Zentangle yeah. coloring books, classes. And you can't use the word Zentangle because it's like their trademark. So I think sketch notes is kind of the same thing. But but I think you could so you know how like when bullet journal is like a trademark, right, right. but you can say dot grid and obviously you can use dot grid. That's mm. not like a trademark and you can't trademark a concept. You can only trademark like words sure, sure. Um, and logos. Like you, you can't say, well, I'm trademarking the idea of visual note taking. Yeah. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's a phrase, visual note, visual taking. note taking, for example. Um, so you can make a book for visual note taking. Okay. So, I think there are some really interesting concepts here. So I uh, check it out. It's something that I learned about today. Um, I think it also ties in really well with infographics. Yeah, I was going to say, it kind of <clears> reminds <throat> me of infographics. Well, what was that? Oh my God, pictograph. Mm -hmm. So a couple of, I, I think it was like show 20 or show 19. Um, we talked about pictographs. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that would, that's a, a Pictograph is a, a software product that you can use to make infographics. So I think there's a lot of attention on this kind of sort of visual storytelling, note taking, um, infographics, just another way of representing information. And I think you could totally get your book readers, book users mm -hmm. um, to use your book for visual note taking. Linda says sketch note is not trademark. She just looked it up. One thing I would say is maybe also check the UK um, because it may be a trademark in the UK. Cause I have a feeling this is like a British thing because my okay. friends in the UK. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's uh, so I, th I just think it's <clears throat> an interesting sort of concept that I hadn't really seen before and yeah, just yeah. wanted to share that. That's so that is cool. also, hi, Barbara. Hi, Linda. Thank you for joining us. And mm -hmm. I think I said hi to Beverly. I think I did. Yeah. Um, cool. OK. Um, have you got anything that you would like uh, to talk about? Let's see here. Um, let's see. I guess we can get Nerd Corner out of the way. Real yeah, quick. let's do Nerd Corner. Okay. So what what's Nerd Corner today? OK, so uh, today Apple had their annual uh, event. And uh, I Whoa. guess they, they released the new iPhones and, and a new iPad. And um, it's just, uh, it, it's... How it's, is it? 
Uh, it's it's not like major, but they're progressively making things better. So mm-hmm. they they focus. They seem to focus a lot on the camera uh, this year, which again they keep making it. Be- you, you know that, quality. that's probably my like. Well, I mean, I've been happy with. I've had iPhones for about the last I don't know five six years. Yeah, and I've always been happy with them. But you always persuade me to upgrade, and the, the way <laughs> the way you always persuade me to upgrade is like the camera will be better. The camera, right. and so I I kind of I'm with you because it's always nice to have a nice camera. So because you keep your photographs, and you know yeah. when you look back at your photographs from a long time ago, and you're like, oh, the quality was low. So yes, I, I that's kind of the selling and, point for me. But. Right. And I mean, the camera, I mean, it's so <clears throat> valuable with like social media and getting an online presence, having a, a nice camera uh, really translate well online, especially if you're in the marketing field or you just want to you're an influencer. So I totally see it. Um, they have a new iPhone Pro, which is like. So they've really broken up the iPhones into multiple divisions. Oh, they got like wait, cheap, an iPhone Pro. Yeah. So they got like the cheaper iPhone, which is like last year's model. And then they got like the regular iPhone. And then for like the people that want like the really fancy stuff, they now have an iPad pro. Which what, has, wait, an I, iPhone. I, I, iPhone pro. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, iPhone pro. Yeah. I'm just laughing at like the fact that like you can have a pro phone. Like yeah. what's an amateur phone? <laughs> <laughs> I, I phone people professionally. <laughs> I know. Wow. They, I have special <laughs> skills. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They, it, 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 oh, Apple. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they were really quick. Um, they, uh, it was really funny. They really focused on the the iPads, just the mm-hmm. regular iPad, the same one we gave mid. And what was interesting this time was that they said this is their top selling iPad and they compared it to a top selling laptop. And so they're really, they've added a smart cover with a keyboard to their iPads. So they're really pushing the iPad as like a laptop replacement. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. And so I think for a lot of people, it's probably a really good deal. I know our music teacher uh, oh, yeah. Using an iPad Pro, that's now her main computer. It looks device. like a computer. Though, it really does. Got the keyboard and Yeah, it, on she it. uses it very much like a Surface, uh, like Microsoft Surface. Um, I'm, I'm still. Uh, so we gave our daughter a, um, an iPad, uh, with an Apple Pencil, and it's awesome because she's using it to draw, and she's doing awesome stuff. If she wasn't drawing with it, I think she would still be better off with the cheap Chromebook. Wow. So if you're in the market yeah. for a new computer, um, I, I think for a lot of people. A Chromebooks, which is about a hundred to two hundred dollars cheaper, uh, is is more than enough for what you need to do. I think iPad Pros are really nice for like artists and and I think musicians as well. It's, yeah, you can. There's a lot of things you can do with the touch screen that's yeah. that's kind of neat. But yeah, I I do feel Apple is struggling with innovation these days. It's, I, it's just yeah, <laughs> there's just not a whole lot. I don't know. I I think they have some fancy stuff in the pipeline, but they're really milking it and waiting yeah. for like the next two or three years to put it out. Okay. So yeah, so, that's it with Apple. Oh, we, we, we got a question. This is totally like kind of just gratuitous. Sure. Um, so <laughs> someone on YouTube named D- Dominican Republican Beaches. That sounds nice. I'd like to wow. go to a Dominican Republican okay. beach right now. Um, anyway, Dominican Republican Beaches asked on YouTube how we met. <laughs> I thought we told this before. Uh, I we feel... tell it all the time. <laughs> How did we meet? <laughs> How did we meet? We met in 2010. 2010, yeah. Yeah. 2010. Um, we met in 2010, and <clears throat> basically we're kind of, we were kind of both on the brink of divorce. Or you, when you you were in the middle of a divorce, yep. I was just about to get divorced, um, and we were doing improv classes. Yeah. We we both signed up for an improv class, and. Um, this shy, skinny, nerdy guy with glasses who was terrified of everything <laughs> came into the class. Um, and I was like, I was like sixty pounds lighter back then. I was super skinny and I had glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, we we we. I think the very first thing we did was like after doing like zip zap zop, which right. is like you always do that in mm-hmm. improv. Um, we had to do a scene, and you were a rock star or something. No, you you. Well, I was a celebrity and you were my biggest fan. Yeah. You were the over enthusiastic fan and I had to just deal with you in the, in the, in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's it some trippy foreshadowing universe, like putting pieces together. Crap. Solved. Right. Yeah. And, and so you were a celebrity and I was just like, Oh my God, I love you. I love you. It's so... And um, mm-hmm. I scared the pants off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so. um, that was it. And so we, I don't know, we were just we... friends for a very long time after that. Yeah. For, and spent a lot of time talking and bonding and 
it's been a wacky journey. And it was a wacky journey. We kind of just ended up here at the moment. So yeah. Yeah. And so this is where, and that, so that's how we met. So I know people are like, wait, you you two worked. So they're, they're like, okay, you worked together. Wait, you lived. Wait, you're married. Oh, okay. Yeah, we 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 left a lot of the fun stuff with like Jägermeisters and partying and, and the Rocky Horror and, Show. Rocky Horror Show. And, and so yeah, that, that there, was, there was some slightly less um yeah, there, there was some interesting. <laughs> <laughs> there were yeah. some inter interesting twists and turns along yeah. the way. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm, we're missing some chat here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Beverly says her boyfriend got her an iPad Pro and a, a and a pencil for her 63rd birthday. Awesome. Wow, that's a nice boyfriend. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty cool. cool. Um, wow. Okay, so um, what else did we have to talk about? Oh, <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I've been practicing that all week. <laughs> Can you do this? I, I, it's, it's, I know. And are you? And are you? Oh, <laughs> okay. So, oh my gosh, if you're if, if if you're in our KDP group, you'll probably know what we're talking about. Yeah. Um. So, okay, I was I'm actually in a Starbucks Facebook group. Okay. Because you know, um, well, we we gave up coffee for a month. We did have one coffee. We've had one coffee in a month. Mm -hmm. Um, but generally we've given up coffee for a while. Um, <laughs> but. I, I in, in in my usual time I love Starbucks. So I'm in several Starbucks groups and one of the baristas did a, a blackboard and it said and they'd drawn a pumpkin and said and I oop on it. And I'm like, huh? What? Am I like old people? Am I totally out of the <laughs> loop? Um <clears throat> and so oh Bonnie says Jaegermeister brings people together. Yes. Yes, that, that that's what happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so so anyway, the Starbucks had sk 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 and Ayub, yeah. and I'm like, what the heck is this? So I start googling it, and so <laughs> I guess there's these like girls, and they're kind of young. They're like 14 year olds, 15 mm -hmm. year olds, and they they make videos, and they're called VSCO girls. Wait, wait, for it, pronounce that. I I think it's like VSCO. Is that is I v I have V S C-O. C-O, okay. And they're called VSCO Girls, because I guess that's an app. So I haven't got as far as looking at the app yet, okay. but <clears throat> I think it's like similar to TikTok. Okay. And they make videos on there, <laughs> and they have like this whole crazy speech pattern. And it, <clears throat> it's really funny, because they're kind of rude as well. So they're like, oh, these you ask? Oh, these are my scrunchies. And then they have like a bunch of scrunchies on their arm. And they're like, hmm, you don't have any scrunchies? Here, have mine. And then I saw another <laughs> girl and she was doing like makeup. And she's like, hmm, I use this fancy makeup. Oh, you haven't heard of it? Oh, that's too bad. You can use mine. And that's kind of their thing that they do. It's so funny. And while they're doing it, they kind of interject this like, sk, 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 sk. and are you? And are you? And it sounds so weird. You're like, what are you talking about? It's really, it feels really forced. <laughs> It's really odd, but it's like a huge thing. So I looked at it on Google Trends and the trend graph goes like, boom, like up, like crazy. Um, <clears throat> oh, Visco. Okay, oh, Visco. so okay. they pronounce it Visco. Okay. Um, and <laughs> and it's getting like 40,000 searches a month now on okay, Google. Okay. So this it's is picking like up a some big steam. thing. Yeah. Oh no, sk, 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 gets 40,000 searches. Okay, okay, okay. So this is becoming like a huge, huge thing. Um, now, and I oop is a trademark. But sk, 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 wait, they they tra someone trademarked that? Well, okay, so and are you now? This is where it gets really weird. <laughs> so the uh, origin of and I <laughs> is so funny. Okay, oh so th there was a contestant on RuPaul's Drag Show called Jasmine Masters, and she made a video, and uh, she's telling the story in her video. And in the middle of it, it's a great, great story, right? And she's so she's like yeah. telling a story, m and in mentioning the about having to uh, take care of her drunk friends because her oh, friends yeah. get really drunk and she has to sit there sober watching them get all messed up. And I, I, probably those I, drunk I, I kind of I, I identified with that because I have to drive you around That's and true. I'm usually the designated driver when we go out <laughs> drinking together. So it really, it was a subject that was very dear to me. <laughs> you're, you're an excellent designated <laughs> yes. driver. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you made me sound terrible. <laughs> I, I just drink tea. That's, that's it. <laughs> You were the one who was standing the Jaeger Meister. That, that day, that was true. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Jasmine Masters, right? So she's like RuPaul's like, right, right, drag right. queen, all this stuff. She's telling this story. She's really into it. And then in the middle, she's going, and, and she's talking like this. And I, whoop. 
And then she goes, oh, I just hit my balls on something. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why she goes, oop. Because she literally like. <laughs> she like hurt herself in the middle of it and end the video right away. It's just. <laughs> So I, I, I'm not quite sure why like 14 year old white girls are now going, and I, and I, <laughs> it's the internet is so weird. <laughs> but anyway, so um, in, in our Facebook group now, we're doing niche alerts. Right. And so sk, 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 I can't even do it right. Um, That's one of the, uh, I think if you do it fast, it's like, sk, 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 sk. right, right. <clears throat> um, That, that kind of uh, works. So um, we're doing niche alerts. So that was one of our niches. Okay. Okay. And the other one was hatch okay. chili peppers. Cause oh, yes, everywhere. Everywhere everyone's right obsessed now. with hatch chili peppers right now. Um, I, I may have taught Sid the. Sk, sk, sk. Uh oh. So I, I apologize. Wait, you poisoned your child. <clears throat> and now he's going to go to school and teach it to the kids at school. They're going to get poisoned. They're going to go home and super annoy their parents. Yes. You're a great mother. I, he went to school this morning wow. saying it all the way to school. So I'm sure wow. his teachers just... and all the parents in his class let's, let's, let's are going to be a, over the moon. Let's have a moment of silence for a mother troll. <laughs> <laughs> did you call me a mother troll? I did. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I accept this designation. Yes. Okay, so let's, Um. well, what, what else have we got? Oh. Um, I had a really quick niche hunting. It's a super, well, it's kind of like a revisiting niche hunting. So every week we try and show some way of finding cool niches and ideas for your products. Um, and I think I've done this one before, but they've kind of improved it uh, <clears throat> on Reddit. They have trending subreddits okay. as a space now. So they have reddit.com mm -hmm. um, slash r slash trending subreddits. Now, I think they also have just trending on Reddit as well. That We've, we've used that before. Mm -hmm. But what I like about the trending subreddits is they do this every day. They give you several subreddits that you can go to um, and you can actually kind of click on it and read a bit about what those um, subreddits are about. And what is really cool is I feel like all of these, you could basically rename them and create a book about it. Life bro tips. <clears throat> Life bro tips. I could, yeah. I, I, you know what that's about. Yeah. It's cats, called, cats hugging cats. Yeah. I can, um, it's called fashion, right? You yeah. can see that. Wait, did you scroll <clears throat> up? Uh, you didn't, no, no, right there. Wholesome Reddit. Wholesome, wholesome right? Isn't Wholesome's that, a right. huge word. Oh my gosh, our kids say that all the time. Yeah. I just need, and it's so funny. So um, like our, our, our daughters, she's um, had some like therapy at school mm -hmm. um, because she has an IEP. And one of the things they teach for, especially for like autism spectrum is self-care and like self-advocacy and just making sure you're okay and managing your emotions and your feelings and all of that kind of stuff. And um she if she's kind of stressed or she's seen something she doesn't like on the internet she's like hmm okay now i need to find something wholesome or soft that's the other thing oh, she'll soft, say okay. she'll say i need I, I need to find something soft to watch now or i need to find something wholesome so if there's like some conflict or like mm -hmm. and it's it, you, you kind of know what it means like wholesome is like a nice story or a nice picture or something where everything just works out in the end and no one does anything mean or yeah yeah and it's it's like a, a cool thing um that's some great ones here. Space porn. Okay. That's, I like, I do work here, lady. <laughs> See, now I feel like that would be great for like a low content book. You could do like yeah. stories of like, I do work here. And maybe you could, I, I don't know, you could have like um, annoyances at work or you can make a book where people can write down like annoyances at work or like self-care tips. Yeah, for yeah. Working. Um, and what you do is you just, you create like a blank book or a low content book Um like a journal or something like that and you kind of weave in tips or funny quotes or okay. funny ideas so it's like you don't have to write a whole book you can just add like quotes or jokes or pictures yeah. or cartoons or prompts or something like that just to make your book a little bit more interesting but i feel like trending subreddits is such a great place to just go and do some um research just see what's popular sacred geometry that's a good one. Oh yeah <clears throat> especially for coloring books and things yes. like that yes um mad dads cat fruit i don't know what that's about mm -hmm. but you can click on all of these and go sort of find Is that out like a bit. The, the cat with the cucumbers oh yeah when cats are freaked out <laughs> because someone puts a cucumber yeah. Ah! Oh, yeah you shouldn't do that to cats i know it's me. a bit mean uh, <laughs> Yeah, Peter, um, Peter's going to be knocking on our door. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want to talk about shadow boxes? Oh, yeah. This is really cool. cool. Okay. So yeah. I'll start where you, you started. Oh, no. Oh, what have I done? 
Oh my gosh, hold on. There we go. Um, yeah. there, there it is. So, um, so my brother, he's always finding just cool art stuff. He's like really into cool stuff, random stuff, and always sends me a link. And uh, about a week ago, he sent me this Etsy link of uh, and and the search term is for video game shadow box. And this put me down a huge rabbit hole. This is so cool. So a shadow box is, um, from my understanding, it's it's basically a really thick frame and it's like a, a picture inside, but individual objects are cut out. So it's got kind of a 3D layer depth. Uh, some people might call it 2.5D. So it's kind of 3D, but then still 2D. That sounds like a keyword. It, it possibly 2. could 5D. I've never, yeah. I haven't heard that before. Really? Yeah. And so it's got this kind of like parallax almost effect. And what's really cool is you can see shadows and things really pop out in front of you, but it's all still like a, a cardboard cutout. Mm -hmm. And so and so, what people have done, they've taken old video games, uh, both 8-bit and 16-bit video games, which work great for the style, and they've converted them into shadow boxes. And you can see These they look so really cool. cool. So this is one of my favorite ones right here. The oh, Ninja really Turtles. Cute. And so I love this game, this arcade game when I was a kid. And one of the fun things about this game was that uh when you're fighting and you you know you hit one of the footmen one of the turtles actually throw them <laughs> out in front of you so you get this 3d effect and so here's it reimagined as a shadow box you know which one i like i like this one just because i love this game i love the um the, oh yeah mario yeah. the mario world oh, is that that's mario that's mario 3. 3 yeah yeah so i i thought that was really cool so yeah um but people are doing like shadow boxes of all kinds of stuff yes not just video <laughs> games it's it's a huge there's so many directions people this is take clever us. in case of an emergency break glass and it's just full of <laughs> coffee beans that's um really cool. but yeah people are doing really interesting things with them putting like confetti in them um i've seen people creating like little worlds with and, them and i was like you know if you sell on amazon <clears> like you can create a bundle kit where people can create their own shadow boxes. Uh, another thing, you can create a DIY uh, kind of manual uh, to help people uh, so they can create shadow boxes. I just feel there's oh, like yeah. a lot of like directions. Yes. And so the next thing I found, there are what's called paper shadow boxes. Mm -hmm. And uh, people sell the schematics uh, on Etsy. They're SVG files, so they're vector. You can scale them up. Oh, and here's an example of a paper shadow box, which is so cool. And so... Um, they sell you the, 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 the files and then you go and have to make it yourself. So here's what it looks like when you cut everything out. So that's it made, but what they're selling is actually just an SVG it just, file. Yes. So that people can use a cricket mm -hmm. to cut it out and to, to create that. Yes. And then you put it in a frame and you put some lights, LED lights around it and it really lights up to create this really cool picture for your house or your room. You know, I think cricket um, patterns on Etsy are huge. Yeah. Just making like patterns that people can cut out is really, really neat. Oh, Barbara says, we have a shadow box her husband's mother made when he was a child. Very cool. Yeah, and there was something I saw back on the other one. Oh, if I move my screen around. Um, I noticed uh, the shell one I thought was really interesting. There's one. Where did I see it? Oh, there. Um, so there's one there with seashells. Now I used to, I, in fact, I, I considered making one at one point. I was, I was thinking about making one. Mm -hmm. um, people make coffee tables that have, they're called, I think, treasure boxes. Oh, yeah. Or like treasure compartments. I mm -hmm. think they're called treasure boxes, something like that. And people make like coffee tables and they put shells or beads or like little like ephemera, pictures, stamps anything that you can put in compartments and it's kind of like a, a nice sort of piece to look at as well so you can put your coffee on it and you can just enjoy the little sort of objects in it that's really cool that's really cool um i, I was thinking another thing you can do you can buy some of these uh these svg files um make them yourself and have a collection of them and then sell them locally oh, uh, like fleet nice. markets or a swap meet or something because i think they look really cool and i, I think people would definitely want want something like this in their house so yeah so that's pretty awesome okay you had one more thing i think to talk about actually i haven't got um oh wait no that's my thing hold on mm -hmm. i gotta type it in um i think i had one more bit of news that was um about google photos um uh let me bring that up okay this is pretty interesting so let me share that um okay so google photos are looking at adding same day photo prints from Walmart and CVS. And they're also gonna make large canvas prints for your wall. 
Whoa. <clears throat> which I think is pretty exciting. So especially, I, I don't know if, if, if you want sort of photos printed out the same day, um, but I love the canvas prints as well. So I think this is one to watch. I haven't really looked at yeah. uh, Google Photos. So that's something to watch there. So I think, yeah, I think we got through everything. So um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. We talked about today, we talked about shadow boxes. We talked about, let me stop the share so I can talk to you all um, and close that screen. Oh my gosh, do we like jump out of sync again? No, no. we don't want to do the Max Headroom thing. Um, Okay. All right. It's good. We're back. Okay. Um, I just saw it slowing down again. It seems to me when I open certain websites, it kind of okay, just the, all the ads and things interact with yeah. Zoom and slow down. Um, okay. So we talked about shadow boxes. We talked mm. about Video Central as kind of a neat sort of marketing platform, selling yeah. platform, and a way to get your name on IMDb, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, Nerd Corner, we talked about the Apple event and the new iPhone, the new iPhone Pro and iPads. Um, oh, and they have the new watch as well that's always on. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, they got the, yeah. Um, they have a display. It, it, it kind of dims out. So. Oh, Linda said, mm -hmm. are we going to pick the winner? No, we, the winner is next week. So we are going to pick a winner. So... Again, um, as we said at the beginning of the show, we uh, reached 11,000 members in our KDP group, which is crazy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. We love that group. We are very, very proud of it. Um, so we reached 11,000 members. We're doing 11,000 member giveaway. Um, all you've got to do is go in the group and answer what your favorite thing is about KDP, and you could win everything we've ever done, all our bundles, um, all our courses, products, and a $50 Amazon gift card. So it's over $500 worth of stuff. Um, actually, it's more than that because the courses on their own are usually about $200 and then we bundle them for $400. Um, so anyway, so it's a really awesome contest. You can enter in the group. We will pick a winner next week, next Tuesday, same bat time, same bat channel. And uh, does that, that also include the KDP Halloween? Uh, yeah, the KDP Halloween class. Which yep, that you can win that as well. Oh yeah. Um. Oh yeah, guys. I have um a Halloween class from last year, but it's still like Halloween's Halloween, and nothing's right. changed with KDP. Um. So if you missed it last year, we are actually still offering our Halloween class. So now's a really good time if you need some ideas quick for Halloween for your books. Um. Then you can grab the KDP Halloween class. Um. I think there's a ten dollars or twenty dollars off it in the group just search for halloween class and you'll find it in the kdp group um so i do recommend that it's, it's pretty cool it's about two hours and it goes into i think it's it's only like fifty dollars i think it's like 49 dollars if you use the coupon code um but it'll give you a ton of halloween niches ideas book ideas and it's totally made for kdp so there's that um oh there was something else i wanted to mention that i just forgot about um um, 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 um. Anyway, there's loads in the group. Um, so come and join our group if you're not in there. It's uh, the KDP with Isaac and Catherine Tangent Templates. And also by Tangent Templates, we updated it. You can now do yearly, monthly, weekly, daily planners. Uh, yes, Yay. And, and, and there's more, more on the way. On the work, yes. um, hoping to add language support for all of those by the end of the week. Mm -hmm. um, there's currently language support on yearly and monthly mm -hmm. for German, French, Italian, Spanish, um, and lots more on the way. We have a list a mile long for tangent templates. Um, we intend to keep growing it, building it. A lot of ideas there, and you guys are amazing with your support. So, um, yeah, buy tangent templates. Yes. Have an awesome week. We will be back next Tuesday. We love you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.